Hey, welcome to RichardBankerWebDesign.com. Today we're going to look at RS Forum Pro and adding RS Forum Pro to your website, getting some forms up and running, and we're going to do a little series on this now. And uh, before we start, I want to mention that RS Forum Pro is a commercial extension that you do have to pay for. Uh, if you get it for free from somewhere, then that's a no-no. Uh, make sure you have a valid license for it. So we're going to start looking at RS Forum Pro. Under Components, you'll find RS Forum Pro, and we're going to click on this, and we're going to look at, here's our control panel. It's pretty simple. There's uh, not a lot here, but there's so much you can do with this. Uh, first thing up in the top, there is an Options box here. For whatever reason on mine, it shows up there first time. So here you can control your permissions for your form. If you're just a basic user, you're probably not going to want to play with that. You have your Manage Forms tab, which lists all of your forms. There are two examples that are installed by default, so you can take a look at those. Submissions are any submissions that you've had to your form. The Configuration. You can enable your syntax highlighting for HTML and all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can force a responsive template so it will automatically adjust to your layout. And then your code, your license code that you have to insert to use RS Form and get updates and such. There's also the backup and restore option. So you can generate a backup file say you're moving servers or you've created these forms and you don't want to lose them you can generate a backup file and then you can restore them later on uh, updates showing you any updates from RS form and then uh, all your plugins there's a ton of different plugins that you can install and that are installed by default and we'll be going over, over that later next video we're gonna be creating a form in RS form pro so stay tuned.